So, it is Friday, June 19th, and we are actually in Fort Lauderdale. For the first time in a, about a year since we started down this journey, we have gotten far enough in the process to actually go out and survey a boat. Uh, I think we put in four offers, uh, one of which was even accepted, and then COVID happened and got cold feet and backed out. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go look at potentially our new Leopard 40 today and make a decision. What's the plan, Jeff? Our Airbnb is in Diana Beach. We decided to stay here because our haul out is scheduled two miles away at Harbor Town Marina. We don't have a car down here, so we wanted to be close by. The seller's broker was going to bring the boat to the marina for the survey, but backed out at the last minute. So now we have to go pick up the boat from the private dock in Fort Lauderdale and sail it back down here for the haul out and survey. Then we have to return the boat to Fort Lauderdale and get another ride back down here from where we just came, twice. And at that point, we can choose to accept it or pass. And we're really hoping that there's nothing wrong with her and that we can go ahead and move on with this process to acceptance. Wait. I think our lift is here. We gotta go. So we just got here to the house where we we're supposed to meet everyone and I'm really excited because over the roof of the house you can see two masks and maybe one of them is ours. Potentially ours. I've never known a love so steady Even gold won't turn your tide Every low and every high and I would have you any way, dear Any way your heart could bear Even if you had to leave me I'd always be waiting here Even when we are apart I will keep you in my heart And I wouldn't change a thing So far, been uh, walking around the boat for about 10 minutes. Uh, I love it. I think it's great. It's way, it feels bigger than a 40 foot boat. I've never known a brighter sunset, but every day I see it rise. I never thought it could be better until I saw it in your eyes. So we just took off from the dock and started to see, so, see trial. Well, well, we're just going to yeah. the marina so we can do our haul out first. Yeah, so we're motoring, but the surveyor has already started. He's looking at all the hatches and pulling stuff out and just checking everything that he can on the boat now. And then we'll do more sail related things like after the squirrel, haul out. I know, I know, I am too. Our excitement didn't fade as our journey continued down the intercoastal and we took in all the gorgeous sights. Each house as amazing as the next, and we even saw some marinas that could be our temporary home if we move forward with purchasing this boat. But it wasn't all smooth sailing when the surveyor told us some troubling news. Both of the air conditioners on the vessel are corroded and won't even turn on. On top of that, it doesn't look like the current owners took maintenance very seriously. So just about everything on the boat, from the engines to the hatches and the refrigeration, is in need of some TLC ASAP. At this point, we're a bit deflated and not terribly impressed. This yacht is 16,820 pounds. That's eight tons, equivalent to six milk coopers or three small elephants. It's time to get to the marina for our haul out. Hauling a boat out of the water is quite the experience to witness. The process was fairly simple. Drive under the crane, secure the straps, and lift. Once they were clear of the dock, they motored forward and kept her suspended over land while we surveyed the hull. We were only out of the water for about 30 minutes for a grand total of 
$400, a priceless amount, to discover there was damage to the hull beneath the waterline. It's a little boat. I know. Can't imagine what a big boat would look like. Yeah. What do you think? Um, well, we'll get into it later, but it seems like this boat is not problem free. And I just don't know how willing the owners are going to be to hear that. So we'll see what happens. The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through Cause I get up. That's crazy. He's like just totally up there, swinging from side to side. Check out the mask. I need to learn how to do that. Yeah, I get up. extra like drying rack oh, for like yeah. the dishes that was, like that. built in. Um, like a little sink basin where water can drip out. So many bugs in Florida. Um, which was really cool. Like a little surprise bonus there. So I would say all in all, having never stepped foot on a Leopard 40, I think we did a really good job of choosing that boat. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's a point in looking at any other kind of boat at this point. I don't know if 
this exact boat will be the boat that we end up with, but I do, I would say at this point, it's probably more than 90% likely that we will end up with some Leopard 40. Yeah. Um, so this boat is like four years old, three to four years old, and I wasn't expecting the survey to show up so much. The surveyor said it best at the end where this is a boat that has been used, um, and not a boat that is getting ready to be used. The engines are long past uh, needing maintenance and some other things. Yeah, like the ACs just don't work, and the like the slides on the refrigerators are all crazy and corroded. Just things that like if you were living on it and you knew you were gonna stay on it, there's no way you wouldn't fix it. But I guess if you just don't care, then maybe you would let stuff like that go. I don't know. But nothing that like makes it an unsafe boat or a bad vessel. Like right? yeah, just a lot of deferred maintenance, um, other than probably need to replace both air conditioners. Other than that, these people apparently hit something a couple of different times and some of the repairs were good and some of them weren't so good. Um, there's some issues that need to be resolved because of that. There was one apparently like crash on the port side that has some delamination and some water. Yep. And it's been repaired, but not good enough. So they're gonna have to Somebody's gonna have to fix that. Um, the spot. I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. So after the survey and sea trial, we got a debriefing from the surveyor. He kind of went over all the things that were gonna be in his report. It's Friday now. We should get our survey back on Monday and then go back to the owners and see if they're willing to negotiate and if they're not kind of the end of the road for this one for yep. both of us yep